Rob, a deserved point for the Hatters in the end. What were your thoughts on the game? I was really pleased with the performance. I think you know, the crowd that were here tonight, uh, our fans, and uh, everyone watching at home will really appreciate that performance. I think they'll be really proud to watch the team tonight. I thought we were excellent, you know, dominated the game um, for real long spells. And again, I just think it shows the, the great strides that we're making as a group. Players um, were, were really aggressive when we, when we wanted to try and press. When we lost the ball, we won it back quickly. We were really good with it and looked very, very threatening, especially that first half. I was just really disappointed to go in at half time 1 0 down. And um, our second half performance probably wasn't as good as the first, but we stayed in it. We kept pushing. Uh, we tried to change things around a couple of times and, and, and left it very, very late. And um, thankfully, that one stood for us. You talked about being disappointed at half time. You made the changes in the second half. What were your thoughts around those? I was disappointed, only being 1 0 down. Not, not with the, you know, the performance was as good as it's ever been. I think we were, again, you know, to, to come here and dominate the game like that more territory, more possession, look a real threat, real control. I, I was delighted with that. It was just the frustration of being 1-0 down. Um, yeah, we made some changes to try and affect it in the second half. For Chong, he's energy and he's been affecting games brilliantly when he's come on. Uh, he did that again. Um, Carlton then to, to give us a little bit more of a threat in the box when we're getting the crossing, which eventually paid off. And, um, and Bez, we feel, can just arrive with a goal uh, uh, and do what Luke Berry does best. And um, yeah, that was what we were thinking and what we were trying to do with the changes. And um, thankfully, you know, they work. We earned our luck, of course, but what were your opinions on, on the VAR call? It's probably a tight one. It's difficult. Um, it comes down to opinions, doesn't it? And you know, the person sat there, you know, feels that it wasn't a foul. I think Eli's maybe had a little bit of an, uh, being nudged a little bit and then didn't use his arms or anything. His just body sort of bumped into James Trafford and um, yeah, can't finish it off. But if I was them, I'd probably be frustrated and disappointed as well so I can understand their side of it thankfully tonight it's gone for us is it swings and roundabouts as well because obviously last week we were disappointed not to get one on VAR against Bolton mm -hmm. yeah I think so but again that shows maybe that it's got its faults because um, it still goes down to opinions that kind of decision so it can never be you know it can't be re-refereed in in you know in a van somewhere uh, or in a, you know in a studio somewhere so um, yeah, maybe that one, it should just be right. The on-field decision stands and that's it, done, you know. Uh, anyway, I don't want to blabber on about it. <laughs> and the fans, of course, stuck with you right to the end. Oh, they How happy were you? They always do, they're incredible. It's, nice. it's really nice to be able to reward them with a point to go home with. So it's a long journey. I really appreciate them making the long trip up in the cold, spending a lot of money to get here and to, to come and watch their team. But I think they seem today as good in the way performance as they will have seen in a long, long time. So I think they'll be very proud as well. And how do we briefly tackle Bolton on Tuesday and then the week after that? Uh, do what we always do. We recover and have a day tomorrow. We'll obviously get back very, very late tonight. So we'll recover and, um, and then we look to go again on Sunday and, and get prepared for that one.